Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we left off we had finished sweeping the alleyways. Let me read this right quick. Chapter 3 was Seraph Under Siege. A group of anti-augmentation extremists calling themselves Purity First have broken into Seraph Industries' manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Detroit SWAT teams are ready to storm in, but Seraph needs to keep them out until a top-secret military prototype can be hidden away. He's ordered Jensen to infiltrate the plant and retrieve the Typhoon swiftly, saving Seraph workers if he can. And finally, we're on Chapter 4, A Wolf Among Sheep. En route, to en route to recover the Typhoon, Jensen discovered a Purity First terrorist trying to steal it. And you know what? I'm going to exit to the main menu just to make sure I can actually get that read. Oh, it's not going to give me... <clears throat> give me that again. Too bad. Oh well. Anyway, as I was saying, last time when we left off I had kind of finished exploring the alleyways among the apartment buildings in Detroit, the uh, lower class apartment buildings anyway. Now, if I kept going through that secret passage, I would end up in northern Detroit, including Derelict Row. I want to save that for last. I actually want to head through the metro station to eastern Detroit and the police station first. So that's where I'm backtracking to right now. So, let's head up here, in the central station. I don't think there's actually anything in here except plenty of people to talk to. I'd advise you to stay away from the DRB gang if you can. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. Just stay in the brightly lit streets and you'll be fine. What's all the fuss about this augmentation technology? It's my business what I do with my body. No one else's. It's my business what I do. Any idea what they're calling for weather-wise? God, I hope this rain doesn't start up again. I left my umbrella at home. God, I hope this rain doesn't start up again. I left my umbrella at home. The arrogance. Who the hell are they to decide what I do with my body? Every one of them should be thrown in jail. Every one of them should be thrown in jail. Do you like baseball? That loose son Park is a monster. The agile therapy they put him on saved his career. It looks like the Tigers are going deep. Looks like the tiger's going deep. My Wi-Fi's out, and, and I need to check the sports scores right away. I wish I could afford one of those cranial jobs. I can't even cover this month's rent. Unless Baltimore covers the spread, that would be a major fallout. I can't even cover this month's rent. I love Detroit. There's no place like it. I moved here from the country just recently. I moved here from the country just recently. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? I don't know. All these cameras and chips and stuff everywhere. How do you know they're not tracking you or something? You're your big brother, man. I don't know. All these cameras and chips and stuff That's everywhere. That's a pretty lame How do you come know on, hon. Especially since I just know this brother. humidity is ruining my hair. Whatever. Huh. Whatever. I can do that. Man, this town is dead. I should've just moved to Philadelphia. I keep saying the nightlife will get better, but how many times have you heard that before? I keep saying the nightlife will get better, but how many times have you heard that before? Keep going through here. I bet you weren't at the limb demonstration today, were you? A bunch of humanity front members protested people's right to enhance their minds and bodies. Then the news broke about the hostage situation at Sarif Industries, and the whole thing kind of got sidetracked. Then the news broke about the hostage situation. Is there a problem, at sir? Industries, the, the city's a little quieter now that the limb protest has broken up. The city's a little quieter now that the limb protest has broken up. I don't mean to judge. But I think the people who choose to augment themselves are rejecting their own humanity. They don't understand that it's our limitations that make us human. They don't understand that it's our limitations that make us human. Have you heard? William Taggart is coming to Detroit, the founder of the Humanity Front, here, in our city. He's gonna give a speech at the convention center. But I bet tickets will be impossible to come by. I wonder if he'll denounce those Purity First fanatics. He's gonna give a speech at the convention center. Oh man, Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Nia Akim is way prettier. But Eliza has intelligence, and I love how she dresses. So cool. Intelligence? She just says what Pikas tells her to. 
and Pikus only reports what the government allows them to. Eliza is just a puppet. Well, she's one hot puppet. You're so dumb. What's up, dude? You lost or something? If you wait for the tram, you shit out of luck. It don't stop at this station once the sun goes down. If you wait for the tram, you shit out of luck. Nice it don't jacket. stop at this station once the sun goes down. Is that a high down. man? In leather? I wish my boyfriend had some of your class. I wish my boyfriend had some of your class. Alright, <clears throat> so let's head down here and out this door. On air with Eliza, Sunday nights, Picus Network. I love Detroit. There's no place like it. I moved here from the country just recently. I moved here from the country just recently. Alright, let's head down here. This is the police station, by the way. Entertaining Detroit, Soloto. But, hmm, where to first? Let's head left down this alley. Talk to these guys. Fucking Motor City bangers. Who do they think they are? The sewers was our turf. The whole sewers. Except near the cop shop. Blues made sure nobody hung around there. There was an entrance led directly to the precinct basement. Don't make much sense to me, but it was pretty secured. Maybe they were smuggling shit in there. Crooked bastards. There was an entrance led directly to the precinct basement. Hey! You look like the kind of guy who'd know how to lay his hands secure. on some explosives. Maybe they were smuggling you know, shit in there. Hush, hush. Crooked bastards. I heard the mob is stashing stuff down in the sewers. It's like that story that the cask of armadillo, or whatever. You know, they seal it up in the walls, man. You ever hear of that shit? It's like that story that the cask of armadillo. So right behind this dumpster is where we were. That takes us back into the alley if you have a way to move the dumpster. Which I can't just yet. It's too heavy. But, uh, before I get to experience, I'll talk to everyone out on these streets. Just to make sure I don't miss anyone. So, let's try these two. Oh, please. You can't actually believe the Purity First are Freedom Fighters. Not yet. But just wait until the Machine Men take over. You watch too many movies. Seriously, dude. Bill Taggart and Purity First are the only ones who've got the guts to defend us against those Ogs. Interesting that you include those two in the same sentence. Ah, uh, you listen to too much left-wing radio. Alright, let's talk to these two. Don't mind my friend, he's just paranoid. You look like a nice enough dude. You look like a nice enough dude. What are you looking at, pal? Scanning me with those metal eyes of yours? That's right. You think I wouldn't notice with those shades you wear? But I can spot an aug a mile away. That's right. You think I wouldn't notice with those shades you wear? All right. Let's keep going. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. Especially since I just know this humidity is ruining my hair. Whatever. Whatever. Let's talk to this gal. You meet all types in this city. Og, purist, I say live and let live. Og, purist, I say live and let live. Cyberboost Pro Energy Bar, always handy. Let's head over here. Not finding anything. Let's cover the street first. Talk to this dude. You watched the hockey game last night? Wins against the Habs? What a massacre. If our guys play like that for the rest of the season, we can kiss the playoffs goodbye. If our guys play like that for the rest of the season, walk. we can kiss the playoffs goodbye. You might goodbye. want to stay on a derelict road, knowing how the local gang feels about people with enhancements. We don't want to have to go in there and find you. Have a good evening, sir. We don't want to have to go in there and find you. All right. Have a good evening, sir. Here's a beer that I don't actually have a use for, but I don't think I've seen this brand yet. Old Folks Brown Ale. Use gain an additional 5 health points, up to a maximum of 200. Activation used from the inventory. Description. Brewed in the old country in the old way by old people with little patience for young punks and their fancy ideas. If it was good enough for them, it's good enough for you. Mmm, that's Old Folks Brown Ale. Warning. Alcoholic beverages will imbue the drinker with a small increase in damage resistance. Each additional beverage consumed will increase this effect. Adverse effects will include blurred vision. That's fine. Let's just drop it. Now, what else have I not looked at? I have not looked at fragmentation mines. 
ECDA Type 4 Frag K Mine. Use. Place anywhere and kill passing enemies. Activation. Select and throw like a grenade. Deactivation. Move slowly up close. Select with the reticule and press the interaction button. Warning. Mines detect speed of movement evade by moving slowly. Description. The Fragmentation Mine is a static anti-personnel munition, a modular variant of the ECDA Type 4 Frag K grenade, made possible by the Mark 87 Tactical Munition Mine Template, TMMT. The mine is sensitive to vibrations from approaching targets and, when triggered, immediately sends high-velocity shrapnel exploding outward. It can be attached to most surfaces and is active within seconds of deployment. Manufacturer Mustang Arms AdTech LTD slash Steiner Bisley GmbH. We also have not examined the hypostim. Medication. Use. Gain a temporary increase of 50 health points up to a maximum of 200. Activation use from the inventory. Description. The hypostim contains one dose of an injectable stimulant that increases the health bar above its usual maximum of 100, if the health bar is already full. Once these extra points have been depleted, they will not regenerate. As with all meds, the effect is cumulative and can be stacked up to 100% of the base health bar. We have not looked at Typhoon ammo. Typhoon Explosive System Ammunition Pack. Use. Kill enemies in a 360 degree arc. Prerequisite. Typhoon Explosive System Augmentation. Description. A pack of 10 millimeter gauge stainless steel ball bearings molded in a frangible diffusion matrix and spin stabilized for maximum range when deployed by the Typhoon Explosive System Augmentation. Manufacturer C-Tech LTD. And finally, the Cyberboost Pro Energy Jar. Jar of nutrients used to replenish three energy cells in full. Activation used from the inventory. Description. Cyberboost Pro Energy is an artificial food energy source packed with proteins and carbohydrates. Awesome. Okay. Now, that's the area I want to leave for last, so let's cover the rest of this street first. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. What's all the fuss about this augmentation technology? It's my business what I do with my body. No one else's. It's my business what I do with you my body. You ever get the feeling you're no being watched? Else. I don't know. All these cameras and chips and stuff everywhere. How do you know they're not tracking you or something? You're your big brother, man. I don't know. All these cameras and chips and stuff everywhere. We don't want to have to go in there and find you. A little advice? Avoid derelict row. Hate to admit it, but we've lost it to the gangs. Hate to admit it, but we've lost it to the gangs. Damn purity first. The arrogance. Who the hell are they to decide what I do with my body? Every one of them should be thrown in jail. Every one of them should be thrown in jail. No trouble tonight, right? Just give me an excuse. Just give me an excuse. Hey, don't even think about starting any trouble. I mean it. I can tell you're augmented by the way you walk. I mean it. I can tell you, I'll Here's DPD you headquarters, walk. Detroit headquarters to protect and serve. We'll head in there in a minute. Let me make sure I've covered the whole street first. My ride was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. I'm gonna kill Gerald when I get home. Looks like I'm taking the subway again. Wish I had legs like yours, then I'd just run home. Looks like I'm taking the subway again. Wish I had legs like yours. You looking for something? Good luck finding it, whatever it is. Good luck finding it, whatever it is. There's a hot devil beer in there, which we've already seen. Little advice? Avoid derelict. Let's go over here. Behold the future, men. Those protesters just don't understand. Mankind in control of his own destiny. How can they not see the beauty in that? Mankind in control of his own destiny. How can they not see the beauty in that? Let's talk to this person. Beat it, loser. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Okay, that's harsh. Let's talk to these three. Maybe those purity first nuts have got the right idea. Might be the only way to get the governments off their asses and do something. You ask me? They should outlaw all skinners, not just regulate them. You ask me? They should outlaw all skinners, not just regulate them. What the fuck you looking at? Because I know it ain't my charming good looks. Get the fuck out of here before I start blasting, kid. You feel me? Get the fuck out of here before I start Do blasting, Do I know you? Because I, I you could swear me? I've seen you around someplace. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. You're that dude. Your face was in the papers. Got popped in that attack on Seraph Industries six months ago. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty radical what happened. 
Wait a sec, wait a sec, you're that dude. Okay. We'll mess with all this in just a bit. Before I do anything else, gotta talk to the people in front of the police headquarters. I'll bet you never have trouble finding a seat on the bus, do you? Hey, no offense, man. Just enjoying the sights. Hey, no offense, man. Just enjoying the sights. Damn cops took my life. And I'm tempted to break in and take it back. And I know just how to do it, too. It'd be easy. Back alley, up the fire escape, bypass the back door lock, and then... Uh, who am I kidding? There's no fight in the law. It'd be easy. Back alley, up the fire escape, bypass the back door lock, and then... Uh, who am I kidding? There's no fight in the law. Last night for a walk. But you might want to stay on a derelict road, knowing how the local gang feels about people with enhancements. We don't want to have to go in there and find you. Have a good evening, sir. We don't want to have to go in there and find you. Alright, let's talk to this guy right at the door. Hey, Jensen. Long time no see. Uh, you're not here to see Wayne Haas, are you? He's a desk sergeant on duty right now. He's still complaining about all the forces stacked against him. Yelling at people, making excuses. Worse since he got kicked off a SWAT because of the pill problem. He, uh, blames you for it all, you know? He's still complaining about all the forces stacked against him. Yelling at people, making excuses. Worse since he got I don't mean to judge, but I think the people who choose to augment themselves are rejecting their own humanity. They don't understand that it's our limitations that make us human. They don't understand that it's our limitations that make us human. All right. First thing I want to do, experience-wise, is tackle the sewers. So let's do that. Just open up the manhole cover and pop right down. There's plenty going on down here, too. Why do some people feel they can just walk up to anyone and start yapping? Shove off, mister. Don't you understand English? I said, get lost. Don't you understand English? I said, get lost. Augmenters have desecrated their own flesh. How can you even consider yourselves human anymore? I almost feel sorry for you. I almost feel sorry for you. I got a right to live my life as I choose. And this little corner of the universe here is mine. God bless America, man. God bless America, man. Behold the future, man. Those protesters just don't understand. Mankind in control of his own destiny. How can they not see the beauty in that? Mankind in control of his own destiny. Sleeping one over here. Let's keep going. Down another level. Gotta avoid the water, obviously. Thirty-eight credits. That's fine. I didn't see any combat experience from him, so no worries there. Just bring him over here. Make sure not to drop him into the electrified water. I think I'll leave him on this bridge. All he had was a pistol. I don't think either of these guys give combat experience either. No. Yep, I thought his I thought his buddy might turn around and I'd be in trouble. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. 
This is the last place I saved? I thought there was an auto save. Nope. Well, that freaking sucks. Oh well. I guess it's not that. There was an auto save right there. Why didn't it show me that on the load screen? Don't believe her. She's just a talking head telling us what we want to hear. The VP's son is a major stockholder in Pikus. Step eight, control the press. The VP's son is a major Don't stockholder in Pikus. Don't get on my nerves, pal. Step eight, I'm done control the press. To you. I'm done talking to you. Okay, new stuff. Thanks for at least talking to me. Most people just walk on by like I'm invisible. They've made it practically illegal to be poor in this city. Bastard Sarah's buying up whole blocks of, and upscaling them. Where the hell are we gonna go? California? The whole West Coast is gonna be underwater in another few years. Bastard Sarah's buying up Behold whole the blocks future, man. and upscaling them. Those protesters just don't understand. Where the hell are we gonna go? All right, let's head down here now. Be a little more direct to dealing with this punk. Well, he fell in the water and died. Can't allow that. Rushing him is fine, but I gotta make sure he lands on land. Out of this hand, sir. Why does it keep teleporting him off the bridge? I guess I need to let him walk off of it after all. Okay. Okay. Keep out of this hand, sir. Get lost. Run, you bastard! No thanks. All right, we got his credit chip. Got to wait for my takedown to recharge. Okay. Let's try this now that he just got to the end point of his patrol. <laughs> Keep him away, not drop him in the water. Good. He has 41 credits. I hope you noticed again there was no combat experience there, so... Even though they're hostile and have guns, they technically count as civilians. So we'll just wait for him to turn his back. My takedown's just about recharged. And we will drop him. Now that I'm sitting comfortably above 10,000 credits, I'm not going to worry too much about selling all the weapons I find. Not like I have been, anyway. Down he goes. Now, he's got some serious hardware. He was toting a shotgun. And he's got 117 credits on top of his shotgun ammo. But... That should all be said and done now. So let's see what else we can find. What's through here, I wonder? Passages. 
I guess they were a stealthy option for getting around these dudes. I don't really know. Over here, we've got a straight up exit. Which, ah, it's the basement entrance to the police station. I'll go ahead and hack this keypad, even though this is not the entrance I favor using. We've got two exit nodes, two data stores. I'm out of stopworms. I do have three nuke viruses. Oops. Access granted. Got it. 50 credits, one stopworm. 75 experience for the hack, but we will not be taking this entrance to the police station. Oh wait, that looks like the switch I can use to turn off the electricity in the water. Well, that's certainly handy. Now, what else do we have? Here's the other passage. Doesn't look like there's actually anything in there either. Finally, I do know that there are a couple of breakable walls down here. I think I might have some trouble spotting them though. Oh, people, let's chat with them. Oh, let me guess, you got nothing to spare. That's all right, man. We all got our crosses to bear. Hey, the way this city is now, I'd rather be on the streets than to be you. Hey, the way this city is now, I'd rather be on the streets than to be you. Oh, man. That's some getup you got. What you trying to hide? You're an og, ain't you? Yeah. Well, you just stay out of D-Road, my man. You'll be fine. You're an og, ain't you? Yeah. That, well, sir, you just stay actually out of thinks augmentation are going to help mankind. There are people in this city can't afford to eat. You ask me? Seraph Industries should be trying to help people in ways that really make a difference. You ask me? There's Sarah one of the breakable walls. No offense, but I wouldn't get enhancements even if I could afford them. And the shots. Ain't there already enough that can go wrong with our natural bodies? Ain't there already enough that can go wrong with our natural bodies? I am actually going to go back and pick up that shotgun because I think, I think I can blast open those walls without having to uh, spend a Praxis point on the augmentation. That sure be handy anyway. Let's get the cartridges too while we're at it, just in case it takes more than one shot. Alright, here's our shotgun. Let's just try this. Nothing. Yeah, okay. Let's quick load then. <clears throat> What I would really like to do is just use a frag mine to get in there. But I am worried that that'll kill the people. Well, let me try moving out of here, seeing where I pop up. Huh. I think we're behind the police station now. Well, that's handy. Oh, man. That's some get up you got. What you trying to hide? Here and all, dude. Well, you just stay out of these rooms, man. You be fine. Here and all, dude. Why don't you take a picture, well, asshole? Look, if you're gonna give me some Chris, get to it. If not, scram. Look, if you're gonna We've heard give this. me some Chris, get to it. If not, don't scram. Don't let them scare you. Don't let them beat you down. Once 
Okay. Yeah. That's that's right where uh we were earlier and here's this passage. Okay, okay, okay. I know what's up now. I want to go back and finish clearing out the sewers before I do anything else. In order to do that, I think I'm going to have to take down the hobos that are standing here and drag them away. Because I am about to blow open this wall. Let's just move her. Drag her over here. Out of the way. Those two didn't even react. Why don't you take a picture, asshole? I wonder if they're close enough to be affected. I don't know for sure. So, I'm gonna stick a frag mine on the wall. And try to blow the wall open. Nope, they're okay. Good. That's what I was hoping for. So, we get 200 experience for popping in here. There's an ebook. The Sleepwalking World. Wake up! The Illuminati are the secret masters of the planet. Imagine an ancient secret society with a global reach and a plan of unparalleled scope for the future of humanity. Imagine a power group known only as the Illuminati who have worked from the shadows to control the course of the world for hundreds of years. This is not fiction, this is fact. The Illuminati are forever hidden behind cat's paws and double lines, and they seek to manipulate the globe through the exploitation of prominent organizations. Despite what they say, the United Nations, the World Bank, and the European Union were all originally created as vehicles to further the ambitions of the Illuminati, and all remain under its control. The Illuminati aims to bring about a world peace by replacing sovereign nations with an Illuminati-run, one-world government. They want control of us all. In here we find a shotgun, shotgun cartridges, tranquilizer darts, and two pocket secretaries. <laughs> Reply, are you serious? From Lawrence Trulio at dmpdadm.net to Big Dan at scowlingmask.net. Yes, Mr. Winchester, I am serious. We pay you to move stuff around and not give your opinion on civic administration. These case files are what we call cold cases, and we have tons of those. Truth is, they would never be investigated anyway, let alone solved. We're barely able to deal with current crimes, for Christ's sake. We take the space that's available to us, that's all, and use the sewer entrance near the morgue. We don't want to make a scene. Code is 2599. You wrote, Excuse me, sir, but are you fucking serious? You really want me to bury all those files in the goddamn sewers? You can't be serious. Is that what you guys mean when you say that guy has a sealed record? Danny Winchester on the move, Inc. Let's get rid of those new tags. And grab this other secretary and read it, too. Surprise Inspection, from Ryan Penn at dmpd.net to Conrad Mitchell at dmpd.net. Sergeant Mitchell, I think it's high time we had another surprise desk inspection on the patrol floor. Here are the computer logins and passwords. B. Bethke slash Maverick, B. Sterling slash Investor, H. Ellison slash Cordwainer, J. Ballard slash Soul Empire, J. Champagne slash Grimster, P. Cadigan slash Despree, P. Dick slash Lamb, R. Deckard slash Unicorn, you might recognize a couple of sci-fi easter eggs in there, W. Gibson slash Baron Null, Captain Pen. Interesting. Just got a load of new access codes. Anyway, they're all scared, but they're fine. So, let me find the other weak wall. I'm not inclined to spend a praxis on punch through wall just yet. Where is it though?
Now's a fine time to pick up one of their pistols just to reload this bad boy. In fact, let's go back and get the other one too. Perfect. Now then, where is the other wall? Probably up with the other hobos. But, we'll find out, to be sure. Ah yes, it's right here. Yep, so, we're gonna have to get this guy out of here at the very least. Or else it'll kill him. I think, anyway. Maybe they'll be okay. Let's find out. Yeah, no, it's definitely going to kill both of them. Which I don't think is acceptable, so... Let's rock a double take down on these two. Pull them out of the danger zone. That should be fine. Of course, none of them carry anything. And now, I wonder if I just put it like right here. It's probably close enough to blow the wall. Nope, it's not. I have to put it on the wall itself. <laughs> Let's see, I have a problem because it won't let me take this guy down. Because he's asleep. Uh, and just there he woke up. Hmm. There's got to be a good way to do this. Good, that woke him up. Just putting it on the wall was enough. Now that he's awake, maybe it'll let me take him down. Nope. Still no, huh? Come on, game. There's got to be a way to do this. Got to be. If only I still had my Trank Rifle, or a Stun Gun. Okay, he's gone back to sleep. Hmm, maybe if I put it on this wall. Or even on the floor. Got the wall open. Guy is still alive. Perfect. That's all I wanted. So, another 200 experience for coming in here. That's all well and good. We've got... Pistol. 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 Wonder what my clip size actually is now. 16. Okay. 
That's fine. Let's drop the rest of the ammo. And in here, what do we have? Machine pistols and machine pistol ammo. In case it wasn't obvious, we were mainly there for the experience. So, with that handled, the sewers are clear. So let's pop up and handle another little bit of exploration. I guess they heard the explosions. We're none too happy. Guess I wouldn't be either. Welcome to the Detroit Automated Now if you have put three Praxis into dermal armor, you can, by this point, already have EMP shielding, which will allow you to cross the electrified floor unharmed. I don't have that yet, however. But there is another way, and it's actually pretty simple. Just use crate bridges. Just like this, get all the way across. I can't help but think that this actually was intended, or else they wouldn't have put the two crates here. Uh, it's tedious, but it will eventually work. Get 300 experience for getting to the middle of it. And of course, we can hit the breaker box, which makes the whole thing safe to traverse. I don't think there's anything on this end. Nah, but we keep on going. We find ourselves back here behind the police station. some things to mess with, but... Which way am I facing right now? Okay. I am using the Deus Ex wiki page just to make certain I don't miss any available experience, or at the at minimum, I can tell you when the non-lethal play style requires me to. I think I have to get up there to get the bonus it's talking about right now. And I don't quite know how to do that. Yeah, there's definitely something back there, though. Seems like the trick is just to stack crates. On to the dumpster, I believe, so let's do exactly that. Let's put this one on the edge, hopefully overhanging it just enough to stand up straight. Now I doubt that one's enough, but it might be. Yeah, we're going to need at least one more. Which is fine. Let's grab the other one. Bring it back. Alright, let's hop it up top. Well, okay. 
Let's hop on top of what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull this one back just a little. And then try and get this one on top of it. Which shouldn't be that hard. Okay. Now let's see if that's sufficient. It is. 200 experience for coming back here. And what do we find? A pistol and a dead body. On the dead body, we have a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar, pistol ammo, and a pocket secretary. Reply, hope you get this from monalks at yazura.det.usa to rongar at gaggle.det.usa. Answer your damn cell, Ron. Don't do anything stupid. Just go to a real hospital. You need some serious help. Rongar at gaggle.det.usa wrote, Listen, I'm in pain right now, telling you it's unbearable. I'm sure they fucked it up. They put it in wrong or something. I got the number to their chop shop, 2356. I'm gonna get in there and these motherfuckers gonna fix this. Shit feels like I'm dying. If I don't make it, tell Jackie I'm sorry. So anyway, that's the access code to where we found that Praxis kit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jensen, I just need you to... Hop back over the fence, and now we'll head back here to the police station. Another entrance, still not the one we're going to take, because believe it or not, the best experience reward comes from going through the front door and winning the conversation battle, convincing Wayne Haas to just let us in. <sighs> Looks like I need a crate to stand on. Well, we got crates. Let's just drop this one right here. Hop up. And now Jensen will climb the ladder. Now, up here, I don't think there's anything on the higher levels of the fire escape. I can't. Ah, yes, okay. You get a 100 experience bonus for coming up here to the roof, which is a possible sneaky entrance. Alternatively, if we head back down, I'm sure you saw the hackable keypad, which we will, of course, go ahead and hack. Now let's hit this. It's only level 2, so it shouldn't be bad. Level 2, no data stores. Just a straight shot, one way or the other. And we're through. 50 experience for that. We won't take that entrance either, but we've got the experience, which is what we wanted. Now... There's one active side quest we haven't triggered yet, where we have to come here, but we do have motherly ties, and this is the storage locker. Now, we have the code for it from Detective Chase, but we're going to hack. Duh. So, let's just move right through. we got to get the clearance node anyway, which makes the capture there easier. And then let's hit the exit. Access granted. So we got 100 experience from the data store, plus 25 for the base hack, and the garage is open. So we get 100 experience for coming in here, that's for locating the DMPD storage unit, and we got a new objective, which is find all evidence related to the case. Information pertaining to Megan's murder is stored inside this cold case locker. If I want to know everything that the DMPD discovered, I'll need to search the unit carefully. Well, that's pretty easy, so let's look around. Ebook. Seraph Industries Incident Report TA00514008. Case number TA00514. Incident. Terrorist attack on Seraph Industries Headquarters, Detroit. Officer Detective Gene Shepkowski, DPD 4211. Subject 008, Confused Witness. 
Details. Apart from Seraph's chief of security, who is still in critical, who is still in a critical condition in edit, and another lab technician who is lying in a deep coma in the same hospital, the only witness to the attack on Seraph who was left alive is a tech named Arthur Hopkins. Something peculiar regarding the witness deposition or lack thereof. When we first got on the scene, Mr. Hopkins was waiting for us in a rec room near the labs. He was obviously in shock, but was quite coherent and ready to give a clear description of the incident. The emergency response team wanted to make sure his condition was stable before allowing us to interview him. When we came back after his checkup a few minutes later, he was incoherent and confused. We c he couldn't remember anything about the attack. We still haven't heard back from the ER team regarding this matter. Addendum, Captain Penn. The situation has been resolved with the medical team. Mr. Hopkins' condition has been validated. He suffered from a severe concussion. This matter is closed. Seraph Industries Incident Report, TA-0051-4023. Case number, TA-0514, Incident, Terrorist Attack on Seraph Industries Headquarters, Detroit, Officer, Detective Christopher Chase, DPD-3837, Subject-023, Attackers are definitely professionals. Details. Quick rundown. There was no trace evidence found at what seems to be the point of entry. The incident didn't last long, but the amount of damage was excessive. There were a large number of victims, and yet not many rounds were fired, and the accuracy was spot on. The attackers were probably all marksmen. This was the work of top-notch professionals. Seraph confirms that a new augmentation design was being tested just prior to the attack, but that the augmentation itself was unharmed and no files related to it were stolen. The obvious motive here is theft and or corporate espionage, but why then destroy the facility and murder everyone? A competitor could no doubt benefit from such a catastrophe, but these measures were quite extreme and to my knowledge this is an incident without precedent. I want to note here that I've brought this matter up to Lieutenant Ashbrook on multiple occasions with no concrete results. Alright. Another one here. Autopsy Report, Megan Reed, DMPD Case TA-00514. Case number TA-00514, Autopsy Number 89D124, ID Number 1685972, Name Reed Megan, Age 32, Sex Female, Blood Type O+, Path MD, Lorne. Preliminary Note. I have been appointed by the state to perform autopsies on the remains of multiple victims of the attack on Seraph Industries. This is due to the critical nature of the incident and to the need for the State Department to be fully aware of every detail without going through an endless array of bureaucratic forms and requests. This is in no way linked to the competence of local ME Dr. Gerald Campbell and shouldn't be interpreted as such. Final diagnosis. 1. Vertebral injuries. A. Vertebrae in the neck area are displaced. B. Abrasion of the bones consistent with severe and sudden stress or pressure. 2. Ligature strangulation. Abrasions found in the A. Abrasions found in the neck area. B. Hard to clearly verify due to severe burns, but throat seems crushed. 3. Severe burns. A. Extremely severe burns covering the entirety of the body. B. Accelerant residue has been sent to chem lab for analysis. C. Absence of fumes residue and ash in the lungs indicate burns are post-mortem. 4. Toxicology report. A. Blood ethanol, none detected. B. Blood drug screen, no drugs detected. Clinicopathologic correlation. Cause of death is quick and intense snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. Dr. Dana Hall, ME. Alright. Now on this desk, we have another ebook. That gives me 300 experience, completes the objective, find all evidence related to the case. Seraph Industries Incident Report, TA-00514012. Case number, TA-00514. Incident, terrorist attack on Seraph Industries Headquarters, Detroit. Officer, Dr. G Detective Gene Shepkowski, DPD-4211. Subject, 012. Probable use of unidentified high-tech compound. Details. While examining the crime scene, Detective Hayward and I both noticed that the area covered by the attack seemed abnormally damaged, burnt to a degree that could not be explained by a normal fire or the use of any known explosives. It was the same for all of the recovered victims' bodies. Residue analyzed by forensic lab officers on the scene likely comes from a high-tech accelerant of unknown nature. It seems the lab's equipment and victims were deliberately burned to an excessive degree. The most obvious conclusion is that this was done to eliminate all possible trace evidence, but it just feels odd, like something is off. And finally, 
We have the safe he wouldn't give us the code for. It's only level three. We should be able to hack it without too much trouble. There is one data store. Oh, but look at this. We can just go... We can just go straight to the tower. Let's do that. That's always the easiest way. Bam. Access that granted. gives you the... <clears throat> if you can get there, it gives you all data stores and completes the hack. So we got 75 experience for the hack, and that was worth 250 credits. Now let's open the safe. There's one more ebook. Megan Reed, Lab Notes, Entry 708. It's hard to fathom it all sometimes. When I made that breakthrough in my research a couple of years ago, I never thought it would get this big. I thought it was an, I thought it was an anomaly at first, but it's become to genetics what universal assemblers are to nanotechnology. We're talking about the holy grail of DNA here. Hell, this is Gregor Mendel big. The thing is, I have to bury the truth. Not the discovery, but how I reached my results. It's become harder lately. I betrayed someone, someone I respected for the sake of my research. I wish I had a chance to fix it, but it got bigger than me, bigger than Seraph. If this ever came to light, Seraph Industries could be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm tired. I think I'll just wrap things up for today. And finally, we can grab Megan's bracelet, which I think goes into our quest items. Yes. Megan Reed's bracelet, a Reed family heirloom. This bracelet was passed down to Megan by her grandmother. All right. Now with that, we're done exploring East Detroit, and we are ready to enter the police station. So I'm gonna head to the front door, and then I think this one's probably a little shorter than the other ones I've been doing, but I wanna give the entire police station its own video, so when I get to the police station, to the front door, which is the entrance I intend to use, I am going to make a new save, make a new perma save, and call it a video. So, this has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time, we will finally tackle the Detroit police station. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.